What it do, y'all? It's Drew Blue back from the Hades. Uh, I'm making a one-time exception to do a first-time reaction for a homie. In case y'all don't know, same old syndicate came through with a new song and come through on my word. Like I told him, I'm gonna do a reaction right now. So, uh, but yeah, man, life's good. I'm still working, you know, hustling on my sounds. As you can hear right now, my shit's still bumping. I'm not joking, my shit will come soon. It's all about putting the quality in the crap, but enough about me, this ain't about me. It's about the homie Same Old Syndicate, hailing from Texas. So, gotta show some love, man, to the Lone Star State, being a lone wolf. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the chat, get in the track, and vibe out, all right? First time reaction to the new song he got going out called Nobody Lose. Let's get it, y'all. Good to be back, baby. <laughs> was vibing with that my apologies if I interrupted but I just gotta bring a couple of really strong points that I like about this song um, for me I just like the direction of the song you just got strong substance within it the beat solid and most importantly I like how he's working how he's progressing his melodies and you kind of follow with where he's going at and he's putting real heart and emotion into it so once again thank you same old syndicate it's an honor to really be um, reacting to the to your songs, man. So, hopefully, uh, people watching this will check out your music. I still say you gotta check out um, his a uh, I want to say an album that he released. Like I reacted to about six or eight months ago. It's called I with the Greatest Sign You. Check it out, man. Some solid work right there on that um, record. Especially if you really love hip hop music and you want to check out something fresh and new. So, anyways, let's keep on going. I'm sick of seeing rest in peace. I'm sick of seeing t-shirts. I'm sick of peaceful protests and pray until our knees hurt. Living every day, feeling pain and anxiety. Having to suppress the frustration that's inside of me. I question the existence of the better days I'm trying to see. Being so the American dream that don't apply to me. 2020 hit, and before we could even settle in, families all across the world started losing relatives. People trying to numb the pain, overdosing on sedatives. Pandemic hit, another day, another negative. My pops just passed away, so now I got a broken heart. My mental health is shaky, and my emotions are cold and dark. My people are divided by slogans we didn't even start. Skin color, men versus women, we're being torn apart. I swear I want to see you win, no matter who you are. I swear I want to see you shine, cause you a superstar. Yeah.
hip hop right there, y'all. But let me not get too uh too excited here, cause I want to first and foremost say, hey, same old Sinigan, I do apologize that you lost your father, you know, recently. So uh, I don't know if it was recently, but just based on the fact that I heard it here, like right then and right there. So um, I'm gonna assume that it happened recently, and I do apologize, man. That's tough. Um, and I'm and I'm sorry for all y'all that never got a chance to really grow up with a dad if you gone through that you know what I mean um I do apologize about that but at the same time man um all I can say is no matter what real family it's not relatable by blood it's relatable by soul mind spirit heart so just keep that in mind that it's all about who you really connect with in this world and I, that's what I like about the message here on this song. It's like, it don't matter who you are. I just want to see you win. I don't want to see nobody lose. And I agree with that. Even to my coldest enemies, I don't want to see them lose. Especially if they gone through pain and they was reflecting that hurt on me. So that way they could make themselves feel better. That's something I really was thinking about recently, man. To the people that try to shit on me, I feel like some of them definitely was hurting. And they felt like I had something that they didn't have, you know. That was kind of like their way to get their frustrations out. And I kind of feel for them. You know, I feel sorry. And I pray that they get back on their feet and they do better with their lives. But at the same time, if there's no harm, no foul. You know, obviously that's a different situation. But um, that's another thing that I got to point out too. With how he was talking about how he feels frustration. And how there's not an American dream. He said, not for me. But obviously a lot of folks feel that in the black community. And the thing I'm going to point out too is because I was just revisiting it re recently and I was about to actually make that my first combat video but might as well do it here um, I was just finishing watching uh, Boys in the Hood again after a long bit of not watching it and you know it's something to keep in mind is that before we can really integrate ourselves with other people we got to learn to understand one another and integrate with one another and I'm not saying like we got to be friends to sing Kumbaya but like in a sense, just respect that we are our own man and we are gonna have our own vision. And it's cool that if we wanna stand in our own path and route, that we walk that. Now, before anyone wants to come in the comments and be trifling about it when it comes to how I talk about music, that's a completely different story. I'm speaking on this subject as about who you are as a being. So, that being said, yeah, like, black on black, Killing, I mean, really, that's what Boys in the Hood started off with, saying one in 25 black men will lose their life, you know? And a strong portion of that is going to be based on the fact that they were killed by another black man. So the black-on-black -black killing and crime needs to stop, too. And it's, most of the time, it's just either dudes be getting their feelings too much, overthinking things, or sometimes they just don't take the time to understand something. They just get heated, you know? without really having critical thinking in this system. So I think that's one thing we all gotta open our minds to, that what we're capable of. And don't let what someone says put you down from what you know you really are capable of doing in the first place. You know better, so don't let them you know, delude you from not thinking that. And I just wanna kinda put that extra input, but I know that same old Cindy is on the same page, and I can feel it, so. But that's one thing I wanted to point out to all y'all, like, to anyone that feels like as if black community is not getting enough love, it's got to start with showing love to one another first before we go on that route. And if we got differences, it's cool, but we don't need to talk about pulling that heat, that like that. You don't need that shit to be a tough ass man, all right? God gave us two fists. We got to settle it, just like our pop said on Friday. We settle it with these. We a man without a gun. Once again, quoting Cube on that, so... Um, and you know what I mean? There's there's integrity involved with settling differences if you got a fucking fist fight. If you got to do it, do it. You know? But, um, <laughs> shit. I don't want to get too much off topic, all right? But that's all I got to really say, man. It's like, we can handle our differences. Let's just do it there. But at the same time, don't matter who wins or lose, especially if it's on the winner, let's recognize the other person as our equal and not someone who's beneath us keep that mentality even if we are different you know what i mean so uh, 
and that's just how I feel like for me I don't really treat someone beneath me as some people try to accuse me of it's rather that I feel like you're not on the same mindset and you're not seeing eye to eye with what I'm saying and therefore you want to reflect as if I'm delusional and then that's when I, they try to flip that script so when you get people like that the best thing to do is you know like if you really don't care don't want to deal with that person don't even bother responding move on that's how you really win that but if you really want to show that person otherwise that you really do see them as an equal yeah continue to talk to them and obviously yeah you might have to fucking shake their skin up a bit but it's all for a bigger purpose you know so and if they ain't listening to a damn thing you said don't mean that they ain't gonna listen to you right now but eventually you planting the seed in their mind that one day they might recognize so always i always say this anytime you have a difference with somebody if you're gonna leave Make sure you plant a seed that's going to bear fruit down the road. Because like I said, nothing good will always come overnight. It happens through time. So that person may not understand you as soon as you leave that moment in time. But over due time, they might reflect on that one of these days, man. So sometimes you got to re realize that. Like subconsciously, people will take in what you say. So it's not always that you ain't being heard. But rather, you just got to be critical of what you say and be careful how you go about it. You know, because everyone can call each other a bitch. It's simple as that. But the difficult part is impacting someone's life and knowing that you got to be patient on that. And that if they don't get you now, it don't mean that they'll never get you. You just got to give it time. All right. But anyways, same on my apologies, man. I kind of went a little too much on this video, but I'm pretty sure everyone got the good content within the five, six minutes. Everyone that's watching until this point are real ones and they understand what I'm talking about. But. Now, I appreciate it. This was a dope joint. And, uh, yeah, I'm going back in the haters mode now. Um, so, just heads up. Like, don't, none of y'all take it personal if I don't do any reactions like you request. And it's just, I'm more focused in my life right now on my music. Rather than, you know, just doing this social media, this YouTube stuff. So, that's what I got to say, man. Until I drop my real music, like I said. It's your boy, Drew Blue, signing out. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed out there. All right, deuces.